My name is Lelo. And I'm Ilaria. And we're going to make kurambiedes today. It's a Greek biscuit made with walnuts and aniseed. The ingredients are as follows. Five cups of white flour, cake flour. Four cups of crushed walnuts. One cup of caster sugar. Three tablespoons, level tablespoons of aniseed and 500 grams of stalk margarine, white stalk margarine. So Dad, what do we put in first? First thing you do is you put in the caster sugar. You then add stalk margarine, which has been slightly softened in the microwave oven to make it easy to work with. Give that a good mix. And you cream that. There's also a little bit of almond essence, one teaspoon of almond essence, and this is a good time to put it in, whilst everything is nice and soft. How much of it do we put? One teaspoon. Gives flavour to the biscuits. Give it a nice turn. That's it. Is that enough? It is. I now add these anise seeds, which also give flavour. How many turn. tablespoons? There's four tablespoons of anise seeds. Mix it nicely. We've prepared the oven at 180 degrees. Is that enough? It is enough, yes. I'm adding the, al the walnuts, the crushed walnuts. And in a minute it's going to need some muscle. So I'll take over from you. That's a good girl. Now I gently add my flour so that it doesn't make it too pasty. But after you've added your flour, you can start using your hands once the buttery mix becomes a little harder. Let me help you from here. Now it becomes a nice paste. Just add the flour slowly so that it gets a nice, even mix. Once it becomes difficult to work with a spoon, the last little bit you do with your hands. The flavour that comes from the almond and then once you bake it from the anise seed, it's beautiful. Would you put a little bit of flour in for me, sweetie? Sure. That's it. Pour the rest. That's it. And there's the mixture. Knead it a little bit to get that nicely mixed. Looking for the coolest shop in town? At thecelestialshop.com, I can find everything I need at the tip of my paw. SM Loving Vegan Dog Food? Crunchy, scrumptious, yum yum. I can eat them all day. Wow, look what I found. A nice spacious house where I get to have my own patio and sunroof. And look at the selection of happy doggy clothes. So many different designs to choose from, and in all different sizes, makes any dog want to snuggle into a new pair of clothes. They even have the most comfortable bed in the whole wide world. So soft and cozy, and the base is anti-skid and waterproof. Makes me feel like a king. Finally, a store just for me. 
Woohoo! I'm in dog heaven! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Come see what's here for you! TheCelestialShop.com See what is emerging is a nice pasty doughy mix. It's just a question of blending all the stalk margarine with the ingredients. Once this mixture is ready, and you can see the texture, this is where the hard work comes. What you do is you take the little ball, roll it straight, and you put it on the tray by turning it into a half moon crescent. Actually call them crescent biscuits. As you can see, the texture allows you to work the balls quite easily. You only cook for between 15 and 20 minutes so that you get a nice crispy biscuit. This produces Think about 60 biscuits. And once they've been cooked, top them with a bit of icing sugar. And if you're a smaller family, just halve the ingredients. I'm going to go over the ingredients again. So we had five cups of flour, cake flour. We had four cups of crushed walnuts, full of protein. We had one cup of caster sugar. We had 500 grams of white stalk margarine, perfect for baking, and we had four level tablespoons of aniseed, and then one teaspoon of almond essence. And this tray is ready with another two to go into the oven. Now we're going to put this into the oven and cook it between 15 and 20 minutes at a temperature of 180. Thank you. As you can hear, our biscuits are ready. And there they are. Nicely browned. You let them cool for a few minutes and what you do then is you put some icing sugar on like this. And there you have Kurambiere's Greek Walnut Biscuit, nicely browned, topped with icing sugar. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. See you next time. <laughs>